This is Meet Your Maker, a post-apocalyptic first-person shooter that contains building and rating elements in the game, where every level is designed by players for players. Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by Incoming Lordy, and today in Meet Your Maker, we're attempting the highest difficulty raids on player bases. Expect downfalls. That, oh my god, no! Turn. And Oh, that was close, that was close. And victories in this insane game. Let's make it out, perfect. There we go. Let's get into it. Make sure to click the subscribe button and also the bell notification button with all notifications on to keep up to date and also press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. We go to a command center over here. We have a couple of difficulties. We have normal, we have dangerous and have brutal. And within those difficulties, you see plays names where you can find their mission. So they have the Glenview, I believe, burial site. And alongside that, this player over here has made their own building there that has certain objectives being met. So let's jump into a quick normal match to highlight what it looks like from a normal perspective and show how it scales up into brutal difficulty and how complicated and intricate it does get in each mission. So let's press raid and let's enter this. So our objective is to go into this base right over here. We have that little companion over there, which shows us where the half is gonna be. So it's gonna go down to that location. At the same time, we're gonna make sure we're safe from all of these traps, as you can see, and make sure we can survive. We go to show one of the traps there. Any other traps? Corrosive traps over here. A guard over there. A guard. Perfect. Jump towards that. There's what's another trap. Destroy that as well with my melee weapon. Destroy that. There's another one down here. There is. Wait for that. Trap skip. One above. Oh my god, that was gonna be really bad. That would have been really, really bad. Oh my god, that was that guy. <laughs> he's all good, he's all good. But he just chopped him up a bit. Slice and dice. Because that could be the worst thing when a tile is missing or changes and you get caught like this one right over here. I nearly missed it. From here, that red half of there, once we touch it, on the way out, when we have to escape this location or this raid and take that loot from here and get out, the map will change suddenly depending on what the player has built. So let's get this red five here. And let's double check if anything's changed close by. There's another trap down there. Can I crouch? I actually can. Oh, that's my grenade. No, I wasted it. Can it keep going down? Make sure we're 100% safe. Another trap down here. Got it. Oh, wow. Easy run. Perfect. So that is a normal run. Pretty much the basic understanding you need to understand what's going on with these raids. But depending on the difficulty that you do play, it will also scale up the rewards you get. And that's very important. So you can use the rewards to buy other items, build up your base better. So when people try to raid you, they actually can't complete it. So that's the goal. So I'm going to try and complete my high raids over here. So let's go to this command center. Let's go to a brutal raid, being the hardest difficulty in the game. And let's try and find a base that we can go for. Grenade traps, and they get kind of chaotic. So I'm going to go for this one right over here. This is going to be kind of insane, I believe. And we're going to try our best to complete this, and hopefully in a good time as well. So let's try and jump to this with our Star Wars loading screen, and see what happens. So we've loaded in, and we see a little buddy over there. Let's try and chase him down. And with these actual missions, they get kind of chaotic. So I'm trying to destroy everything I can. Oh, that was close. That was close. We've got a uh, Hornet, which is ready for dead. Another trap been activated. Dodge that. Little guard. I'm going to shoot that. I'm going to actually go there. Hit this. Hit that. Oh my god. No. Okay, that was the first thing. <laughs> Let's go again. Let's go again. From here. Oh my god. Trap. Nice. It's all right. Break that. Break this. Break that. Go there, get my charge back. Then we're gonna watch out for this. So we've been broken, perfect. And usually we use other um, actual rubber as an understanding where to go next. Did I kill the other one? Perfect. I see another trap. Oh my god, that was close. Dodge that. Another monster's pulling up. Killed it, one shot at it. Nice. Go there. Killed them both. Perfect. No, we died again. There was another gun on the very top right. Oh, damn. You got us. Well done. Well done. But with every run you do, the more information you gain on what to do next and what to be careful about in your next run. It's always the fun part. Oh, and then we got one shot by the Hornet. We can beat this raid. I believe it. I believe it. If it takes maybe 100 tries, we're going to make sure it happens. Make sure I get hits there. Kill the big dude. No, he one shot at me. He missed. It just missed the range. Dodge that, hopefully. You can also linger on walls too, which is the best part. You start doing some crazy stuff, which I like. I just dodged that, nice. So what I'm waiting for now is the guardsman to start pushing up, like this guy has right up here, and then kill him. That is the easiest way to do so. Without dying, the other one died to the traps, so that's perfect. Another one's up there, two up there. Traps up there, watch out for that. 
Dodge that. Nice kill. I'm safe. Nice. Dodge that. Perfect. Oh my god, that was gonna be really bad. That was very close. Let's keep going. Get closer to finishing this actual run. Really nice. I should check the top side before pushing up like that. That could be really risky. Nice dodge. Keep pushing up. Kill that guy there. There's a couple of traps up here. We'll wait for him to push up. Yeah, I think waiting for him to push up is the best idea. Because that happens. Oh my god, I knew it! I knew it! Being closer and closer towards the actual loot of this guy's um, base, I can make it happen. I think we can. Oh, he got our toes, dude! Oh, he really got my toes. No, the trap pulled me into the other one! So I wonder if I actually hit the one on the right, if I survived that, even while getting pulled in. You can use that as tech within your build. Oh, there's another trap on top! Oh, no! Oh, I survived. Destroy that. Another shot down there. Wait for it to actually shoot around the corner. Push up, push up. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Got that. Dodge that. Perfect. Oh my god, that wasn't close. Very clean. Very, very clean. Oh my god, that was gonna be bad. Did I destroy it? I destroyed it just in time. Block that. Nice. Destroy this. Very nice. Is anyone else? Can okay, we save? We save. Now here, shoot that first. Go up there, kill that. Nice. Then from here, I should go down here. Destroy this. So pull me down. Maybe shoot this. Wait for to push up. Come on, push up, push up. Nice. I should be able to kill this. I should be able to kill this. Nice. From here. Dodge. Well done. That was gonna kill all the traps. Perfect. Look, where's the other trap? It's up there. Grab block up. Go down. Destroy that trap too. Perfect. This is very good for us. Destroy that. Pick that up. Oh my god. Go drop down. No, he dropped down. I'm gonna beat this. I, I feel it. It's Hamza Dual. This brutal base is Hamza Dual. No. Oh my god, the double jump saved me. He yeah, actually are safe. Oh my god, I'm actually are safe. Let's hold the police right now. I love that. You can use that to your advantage. That's so cool. Did they expect no one to use that the way I just did? No, I haven't seen that dual as a strat. Nice, with the crappy up. Kill them all with it. Perfect. Dodge that. Very nice. Wait for the shots. Go to the top. Kill this guy. Kill that one. Wait for the shots again. Go down. Kill the boat. Nice. The plays are going pretty good. Our speed running tech is working out pretty well. I'm loving it. Nice. No, 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 no. No! It pulled me in and it made me fall into the pit. The bomb came with me. That was nearly close to death. I'm dead. <laughs> I'll try to pull him over here. So I actually kill him. Nice. Destroy all the traps. Perfect. Move, move. Perfect. For the trap. Destroy that. Oh my god, I nearly died. As soon as you get the loot, it starts another trap straight away. As you see. Oh my god. That. It's up top, actually. I feel like there's another one. I'm scared. Look at that, man. 
So many traps. I'm scared. I'm gonna double check every panel or I die. Nice work. Any more? Okay, we're still safe, still safe. safe let's make it out perfect there we go completed the brutal run on this body map oh my god was that brutal yeah, i'm gonna give it fun and artistic <laughs> and we get more gifts you know get more weapons there's just a build up and it's great seeing that you get rewarded for playing these higher difficulties and also building them yourself let's jump into this one this seems insane oh my god what is this base this is crazy looking okay let's see what we can do here and see what it's all about Oh, look how many hornets are there. Are. And also guards. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's see what we do, yeah? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. There's traps everywhere. I just placed on the traps. No, I got killed by the hornets. There's like eight of them in the sky. Look. Oh, my God. And it's cross of cubes, so you can't go higher. I get it. So this is an insane open area. Which makes it hard, because these enemies, when you try to burst them in open area, it's quite difficult. Especially when they got pretty much aimbot. Let's see if we can try and bypass them. Nah, can't bypass it. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. I can't go for the shots. I don't know how you get in there. Like, do you just get in and get out? Is that the goal? Without killing everything? Because that seems to be the only objective right now. This place is insane. Yeah, I think you possibly could. With each death, we learn more about this crap hole that someone created. Don't forget, someone created this abomination with that. How's this little buddy get through? Oh my god, will I get this? Probably it's the Hornets, and I can't shoot them because I lose my ammo. Does that make sense? Because you lose ammo. Try to see if we can climb up. It's worth it. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm doing it! Okay, all the traps are gone. Pretty sure. Nice. Guardsman. Nice. It's possible. It's doable. Now, what traps activate after killing it? I'm gonna wait for the other guardsmen to come in. I see him around the corner over there. We'll get closer. I'm hoping he runs towards me. Come on. Oh, I suppose I'm close. Wait, all the hornets died. Oh, the horn. Wait, the hornets didn't die. Not all of them. There's a couple there. The majority of the hornets died because of touching the corrosive stuff. Or the corrosive cubes. That's a little half the guy right there. Let's get the loot. Where he gets it. What happens to this map? Where are the traps? Where are the traps? He's collecting it too. Traps up here. Couple. Yeah, all traps are gone. Map is red. Right up to the map. Is that it? I want to see if it bounce out. There's no way I've actually played this. There's a trap over here. I actually completed it. Oh my god, well done. That only took me a couple of tries and we made it work. So you can't fight that area. This area is insane. Actually, in, uh, ingenious and brutal at the same time. We start to see how the speed running strat can work to your favor and actually push areas and let the own traps that they've actually created kill their own guardsmen. That's what becomes quite interesting. And that was our time on Meet Your Maker. But mate, tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you want to see more gameplay of Meet Your Maker on the channel and more runs on the most brutal duties of the game modes available? 
when it comes to player bases and encountering those player raids? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And your thoughts about the series? Do you want to see more of it? Tell us in the comment section down below. As always, mates, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we're through this, and I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates. Thank <laughs> you.